The narcissist is secretly obsessed with you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is special, dedicated to celebrating our 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for being part of this amazing community. Your support means the world to me. Together, we are making a difference and empowering each other on this journey. Now, we are going to discuss a fascinating yet complex topic, the behavior of a narcissist and their obsession with you. When a narcissist first sees you, they often feel an intense infatuation. This feeling is not just a fleeting emotion, it is a powerful attraction that can quickly develop into something much deeper. They may find it hard to believe their luck in encountering someone like you. You possess qualities that they find irresistible, and you seem to check all the boxes on their list of ideal traits. One of the key aspects that attract a narcissist is your capacity for love. They notice that you are capable of providing a sustainable and potent supply, something they crave. They are drawn to your appearance, your personality, and even the way you communicate. Your ability to care for others stands out to them. In the early stages of your relationship, you may have shown a remarkable level of care and understanding. Perhaps they hinted at some painful experiences from their past, and you were there to help them heal those wounds. This nurturing side of you is what truly captured their interest. They see you as someone who has the ability to fix things, and this is a major reason why they chose you. When they encounter someone who is broken, you know exactly what to say to make them feel better and to help them heal. However, this initial infatuation can quickly spiral into an overwhelming obsession. The narcissist feels a strong need to make their feelings known and to establish the relationship as official as soon as possible. This is often why many people find themselves in situationships so quickly. The declaration of love can happen almost immediately. Before you realize it, you might find yourself saying, I love you, and they respond in kind. This rapid exchange of affectionate words serves to seal the deal in their minds. Once the words, I love you, are spoken, the narcissist may use them as a tool of deception. For them, this declaration is not just an expression of genuine emotion, they believe it is a commitment that binds you to them. They understand that when you say, I love you, you mean it sincerely. However, for them, their motivations are different. They are primarily in it for their own gain. It is essential to recognize that there is often a lack of reciprocity in these relationships. A fellow subscriber once pointed out the term, symbiotic. In a healthy symbiotic relationship, there is a mutual exchange of support and care between both parties. Unfortunately, with a narcissist, this balance is absent. The narcissist may be head over heels for you, but their affection is one-sided. They have you right where they want you, often overlooking other potential partners who could also serve as sources of supply. Their focus is solely on you, as they see you as their primary source. Interestingly, some narcissists are aware of their condition, while others are not. They may realize that they do not function like most people, especially when they observe genuine happiness in others. They might pretend to be happy for someone else, but inside, it can make them feel uneasy or even shudder. This awareness can sometimes fuel their obsession with you, as they seek to fill the emotional gaps within themselves through your love and attention. When a narcissist learns that someone has received good news or is experiencing positive changes in their life, it can provoke a strong reaction from them. For instance, if you were thriving at work or excelling in your studies, this success might have made you feel secure in your relationship with the narcissist. However, instead of sharing in your happiness, the narcissist may become angry or resentful. They often struggle to celebrate your victories, as your success serves as a painful reminder of their own insecurities. I recall a moment when I shared my college certificates with a narcissist. While these certificates were a reflection of my hard work and achievements, the narcissist's reaction was far from supportive. I vividly remember the look in their eyes, there was a darkness there that indicated envy rather than pride. Instead of feeling happy for my accomplishments, they seemed bitter and twisted, unable to appreciate anyone else's success, especially if it highlighted their own shortcomings. This intense feeling of obsession can often lead to a strange mix of emotions in the narcissist. They can be both obsessed with you and harbor feelings of hatred towards you. It may seem contradictory, but this is a common experience. 
They may feel an intimate connection with you, yet at the same time, they view you as a rival. They are deeply troubled individuals, trapped in a cycle of needing to appear as a loving partner while simultaneously resenting you for your achievements. In essence, you might be sharing your life with someone who is, in many ways, your worst enemy. Despite their outward appearance of love and companionship, their true feelings are often rooted in jealousy and resentment. They work hard to maintain a facade of affection, but this mask can only hold for so long. Over time, you may start to notice cracks in that mask. The narcissist's peculiar behavior may become more apparent, and you might begin to feel uncomfortable around them. This discomfort can be hard to recognize at first, especially when you are wearing your love goggles, which can blind you to the warning signs. However, in hindsight, you may recall moments that seemed off or strange, but you dismissed them at the time. As their obsession grows, the narcissist becomes increasingly insecure about the possibility of you finding someone else. They worry that you might discover their true nature or that you could connect with someone who is better suited for you. This insecurity makes them feel threatened, and they may start to cling to you even more tightly. They want to be involved in every aspect of your life, often to the point of suffocation. With time, you might find that you want to spend time with friends without bringing the narcissist along. You may desire a break from your usual routine, seeking moments of independence. This desire for autonomy can trigger significant anxiety in the narcissist. They may react negatively, feeling as though you are slipping away from their grasp. This can lead to controlling behaviors, as they try to manipulate situations to keep you close. I remember a time when I worked all week long, and the narcissists in my life would drain my energy. Being intimate with them was exhausting and left me feeling depleted. Looking back, I realized that this constant intimacy kept me in a clouded mental state. Engaging in continuous sexual activity can lead to a sense of stagnation, almost like being in a fog. Scientifically, it has been shown that such behavior can affect mental clarity, and the narcissists seem to be fully aware of this dynamic. On top of that, I was juggling early shifts and late finishes at work, which added to my exhaustion. When you are intimate with someone multiple times a day, it can leave you feeling even more drained. By the time the weekend arrived, I often found myself waking up early, simply because I was accustomed to it. All I wanted was to go to the kitchen, make myself a nice breakfast, and relax with my phone. I might have shared this story before, but it's a vivid memory. I would sit there, listening to my music, enjoying a rare moment of peace. Suddenly, the narcissist would pop up and ask, What are you doing? Their abruptness startled me. It would make me jump and even tremble mainly because I hadn't been intimate with them that morning. Reflecting on those moments, I realized that they often looked repulsive to me, and the thought of being intimate with them now makes me feel sick to my core. It's a disturbing realization to think that I was once in love with someone who could evoke such negative feelings. These behaviors are not mere antics, they reflect a deeper issue in how narcissists operate. Even when I tried to do something simple for myself, like listen to music, it felt like an act of rebellion against their controlling nature. It could be something as innocent as wanting to enjoy a moment of solitude, or perhaps starting a new course or pursuing a promotion at work. Any of these activities that took time away from them would begin to wound the narcissist. These small acts of self-care can deeply affect the narcissist. If I started working extra hours or pursued a promotion, they would feel increasingly resentful. Even something as trivial as listening to music by myself on a Saturday morning could trigger feelings of degradation in them. They are obsessed with you, and any change in the routine can lead to their resentment. The word obsession is powerful and deserves careful consideration. When I say they are obsessed with you, it means they cannot function properly without your presence and attention. You become the center of their world, and they expect you to maintain the same level of engagement and supply. If anything disrupts this arrangement, like spending less time with them or focusing on your own interests, it can throw them into a state of emotional turmoil. This need for control and dependency highlights the toxic nature of the relationship. The narcissist's obsession creates an environment where your needs and desires are often overshadowed by their insecurities. They require you to adhere to a specific pecking order in their life, 
and any deviation from that order can lead to their feelings of malfunction or distress. When a narcissist begins to sense that you are spending extra hours at work, their mind often starts to spiral into a state of paranoia. They might think, oh my god, they must have someone else at work. This kind of thinking is rooted in their deep insecurities. For example, I remember a Saturday morning when I was simply listening to my music and engaging with my phone. In those moments, I was unaware that the narcissist was likely imagining the worst, that I was speaking to someone else or building a connection with another person. Narcissists often lead very dull lives when they are not with you. They can be such boring individuals that they find themselves reaching out to others, even while being obsessed with you. They understand, on some level, that they cannot put all their eggs in one basket. They are aware that your worth is significantly greater than theirs, which fuels their fear of losing you. This fear drives them to keep options open, often engaging with past partners or other potential sources of supply. When you take on extra shifts at work, pursue a supervisory role, or engage in activities that require more of your time, you might be doing so for very positive reasons. You could be working to build a more stable foundation for your home or to earn some extra money. After all, financial stability can greatly benefit a relationship. However, the narcissist interprets these actions in a far more negative light. To them, your hard work may appear as a threat. They might see your dedication as a sign that you are trying to distance yourself from them, or worse, that you are setting them up for failure. Their paranoia and insecurity can distort their perception of reality. As your obsession with self-improvement grows, the narcissist's feelings can shift from admiration to darker emotions, such as resentment and hatred. They might hate the fact that you are attending college on Thursdays after work, or that you are studying to become a better version of yourself. This resentment stems from their own stagnation. While you are climbing the mountain of personal growth and striving to become a better person, they remain trapped in the same place where you found them. They do not progress, they do not ascend. As empaths and chosen individuals, we are focused on ascension and growth. Even when we face difficulties or make mistakes, we have the ability to bounce back and recover, maintaining our resilience. In contrast, narcissists often remain stuck in their stagnant existence, relying on others to elevate them. They are like leeches, drawing energy and validation from those around them without contributing anything meaningful in return. This obsession that they once had for you can leave you questioning the nature of their feelings. You might wonder, did they truly love me? The truth is that while they might have felt something resembling love, they do not understand how to genuinely love someone. Instead, they know how to obsess. Their thoughts are consumed by you, constantly wondering what you are doing, who you are with, and whether you are being unfaithful. This insecurity manifests in an overwhelming need to bombard you with messages and calls, seeking constant reassurance. Let me share another story with you. There was a time when I had just used the restroom at work, and the narcissist became extremely insecure, thinking that I might be cheating on them with someone else while I was in there. I want to be clear, I never cheated on the narcissist. I never even logged onto Facebook to look at another man's profile. I was completely faithful, and the proof of my loyalty was evident because they even hacked my device. If there had been any evidence of infidelity, they would have confronted me with it. However, there was nothing to find, which highlights their deep-seated insecurities. Despite knowing that I wasn't cheating, the narcissist still questioned my actions, even when I was simply using the toilet at work. This illustrates just how strange and obsessive their behavior was. They were so consumed by their paranoia that they believed I could be unfaithful in such a mundane situation. This kind of obsession is not rooted in love, rather, it creates confusion because it can feel intense and genuine at first. When we experience love bombing, it often feels passionate and real, but it can be misleading. What we are actually dealing with is someone who is infatuated to the point of obsession. This kind of obsession typically leads to a downward spiral. Initially, it may seem like affection, but over time, it transforms into negative emotions such as hate, resentment, and envy. The narcissist starts to resent you for your growth and progress. They may become angry or jealous when they see you ascending in life, improving yourself, and achieving new goals. 
For instance, you might be out at work, meeting new people and making valuable business connections. You are actively bettering your life, while the narcissist remains stagnant, often feeling left behind. If the narcissist is working, they might be leeching off your efforts, fixated solely on you while you are trying to improve your circumstances. If you are a stay-at-home parent or partner while the narcissist is the primary breadwinner, they might irrationally suspect that you are inviting others into the house while they are at work. Yet, they never bring these unfounded suspicions to your attention directly, which only reinforces their paranoia. Take the restroom incident at the airport, for example. When I was in there, they called and asked, what are you doing? This kind of questioning later made me realize how insecure they were about my absence and their inability to control the situation. If you are not the one working and they are, their insecurities could manifest in different ways. They might come home looking for signs of someone else being in your space, such as stray hairs or unfamiliar scents. I vividly recall the narcissist once asking me about a blonde hair on my clothing just as we were about to be intimate. Their fixation on such trivial details was astonishing. I know some of you might think, you must have been foolish, and you would be right. I was deeply in love, perhaps to the point of being blind to their manipulative behavior. I was made to feel guilty for something I hadn't done. I would have admitted it if I had made a mistake, but I was faithful throughout our relationship. This obsessive behavior creates an environment filled with distrust and anxiety. The narcissist's constant need for reassurance can be exhausting. They may demand proof of your loyalty in ways that feel unreasonable or invasive. The narcissist's insecurity can manifest in many troubling ways. They often dislike seeing you thrive or succeed, whether that means sending messages to friends or engaging in activities that bring you joy. The central message of this discussion is crucial, obsession can turn dark. What might initially seem like a loving obsession can quickly shift into something resembling hostility. This transformation leads to an obsession filled with hatred, deception, and a desire for revenge. Throughout your relationship, you may have unknowingly caused the narcissist emotional pain simply by living your life. Whether you were going to work, caring for the children, or striving to build a better future for your family, your progress could have been perceived by them as a threat. While you were focused on creating a positive life, the narcissist was harboring feelings of resentment and revenge. They wanted to hurt you, to inflict the same pain they felt throughout the relationship. From the moment they first laid eyes on you, they experienced an infatuation mixed with fear. They were afraid that you might leave them for someone better. This fear is rooted in their insecurities and often leads them to act out in destructive ways. It is essential to recognize that, despite their obsessive nature, you are capable of finding someone better for yourself. Even if you currently feel trapped in a brain fog, or if the wounds from your experiences are still fresh, there is hope for a brighter future. I have heard inspiring stories from subscribers who have shared their journeys. For instance, one individual spoke of their father, who spent 30 years in a relationship with a narcissist. In his 70s, he finally met his soulmate, and together they traveled the world, creating beautiful memories. This demonstrates that it is never too late to find love and happiness. However, during your relationship, the narcissist may have been plotting revenge against you. This is often why the end of the relationship can be so brutal. They may have cheated on you or cut you off suddenly, leaving you in a state of shock and confusion. Their actions can feel like a punishment, even though you may not have done anything wrong. It is important to understand that their behavior stems from a distorted perception of reality. They have been living in a delusion, convinced that you are somehow to blame for their unhappiness. Every time you took steps to improve your life, whether it was enrolling in a college course a few times a week, working towards a promotion, or dedicating extra hours to your job, you were likely met with resentment. You might have been trying to save money for a house deposit or a mortgage, suggesting that you avoid outings to prioritize your financial goals. Unfortunately, the narcissist took offense to these responsible decisions. In a healthy relationship, when one partner does not understand the other's actions, they would communicate openly. A normal, functioning individual would express their confusion and seek clarification, saying something like, Hey, love, I don't understand why we're not going out this weekend. Can we talk about it? 
Instead, the narcissist internalizes their feelings and allows their insecurities to fester, leading to a toxic environment filled with misunderstandings and accusations. In an ideal situation, you might expect that both partners in a relationship would communicate openly about their feelings. If there were misunderstandings or hurt, you would hope to discuss those issues and come to a mutual understanding. However, the problem with a narcissist is that they often fail to communicate their true feelings. They do not express their desire for revenge or their feelings of betrayal when they see you pursuing a college course or working extra hours. Instead, they keep these emotions bottled up inside, allowing the resentment to build over time. As this internal struggle continues, their initial obsession can morph into a desire for revenge. What began as an infatuation can turn sadistic, leading them to want to inflict pain and suffering on you. This transformation is critical because it highlights the difference between love and obsession. Love is built on mutual respect and understanding, while obsession is about control and power. The fine line between these two can become blurred, making it difficult to recognize the reality of the situation. If you find yourself in a situation where the narcissist has discarded you or left for someone new, you might wonder what happens next. Often, they will feel a rush of revenge, believing they have gained the upper hand. This sense of satisfaction can be fleeting, and while they may seem to revel in their actions, these feelings will eventually fade. Just as they never communicated their true emotions during the relationship, they will also not inform you when their feelings of revenge begin to subside. As time passes, the narcissist may enter a repetitive cycle, moving on to a new supply or partner. However, beneath the surface, they may start to experience feelings of regret. It's important to understand that the new people they choose to engage with will not compare to you. As I have mentioned in many of my videos, these new partners will never match the connection shared with an empath or a chosen one. The dynamic you had is unique and irreplaceable. Often, the narcissist ends up with someone just as emotionally unstable as they are. They might find themselves in a situation where both individuals are incapable of drawing meaningful emotional supply from one another. They sit together, perhaps on a couch, realizing that their connection lacks the depth and vitality that was present in your relationship. This realization can be frustrating for them, as they struggle to extract emotional energy from their new partner. In their frustration, the narcissist may resort to continuing their pattern of punishment towards you. They may engage in behaviors designed to provoke jealousy or envy, aiming to elicit a reaction from you. This serves as a form of supply for them, they thrive on the emotional responses they can elicit from others. Even though they are no longer together with you, they may still find ways to manipulate your feelings, making you miss them or wish for the connection you once had. Deep down, the narcissist may feel a sense of regret, but it is a self-absorbed kind of regret. Unlike the genuine remorse that we might experience, thinking, oh, I shouldn't have done that, their feelings are rooted in their own needs and insecurities. This type of regret often leads to what is known as dumper's remorse. This occurs when they reflect on their actions and realize the loss, but it primarily revolves around how it affects them rather than any true empathy for you. If you are currently in a situation where you feel abandoned or discarded, and it has been a few months since the relationship ended, you might be thinking, this person is never coming back to me. I understand this feeling all too well, as I am six years removed from my own experience with a narcissist. During this time, I have encountered several hoovers, which are attempts by the narcissist to suck you back into their life. Even after creating this channel, I received hoover attempts from them, which showed that they were still thinking about me. These Hoover attempts often act as temperament checks. The narcissist is assessing how you are feeling and whether they can regain control over you. This behavior underscores that they are still aware of your existence and are monitoring your life from a distance. You will likely receive a Hoover because, at one point, you were their favorite. You were like a beloved toy that they cannot easily discard, especially when they find themselves in a new relationship. The new supply will not provide the same emotional fulfillment that you once did. As the narcissist begins to realize this, they may start to feel nostalgic for what they had with you. You were focused on building a future, laying down foundations that would benefit not only you, but potentially your children as well. 
You are thinking long-term, investing your time and energy into your career or personal growth. In contrast, the narcissist often seeks instant gratification and is not prepared for the commitment and effort that a stable future requires. While you have been climbing higher in your personal development, they remain stuck in their stagnant state, often with a new partner who is just as emotionally unfulfilling as they are. You may feel pain at this moment, but I assure you that you are reaching heights they will never achieve. It is crucial to recognize that what you thought was love in your relationship was, in fact, an obsession. When someone is obsessed with you, their feelings can quickly turn dark, resulting in a desire for revenge and punishment. This obsession stems from their narcissistic injuries, which can be triggered simply by your efforts to improve your life. You may have been trying to do something good for your relationship, but instead of appreciating your hard work, the narcissist interprets it as a threat to their fragile ego. I hope this message resonates with you. Remember, you haven't lost anything of value. If you find yourself tempted to check their social media or dwell on their new relationship, try to redirect that energy toward your own life. Do not harbor anger towards the new supply. After all, they are simply taking away what no longer served you. Thank you for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel for more insights. Your support means a lot, and I look forward to sharing more content with you soon.